there, welcome to Storybook Crochet. In today's video, we're going to be making this cute little zombie ghost. I do have a couple other ghost videos up if you're interested. I will link those down below. There is a ghost witch, and then there is a ghost that is wearing a pumpkin hat, and they go along with this pattern as well. For materials, you're going to need a worsted yarn in green, and then a small amount of pink. You'll also need a small length of black and red to do some sewing at the end. You're going to need a 3.5 millimeter US crochet hook, a yarn needle, a stitch marker, one 12 millimeter safety eye, and then some scissors. And you'll also need to grab some fiber fill. So let's grab all our supplies and we'll get started. All right, so to get started, we're gonna start out by making a magic ring. And in this magic ring, we're gonna make six single crochets. Once you have those six made, just go ahead and pull that tail closed. And then moving on to round two, we're gonna increase in each stitch around. So we're gonna put two single crochets in every stitch around, and this will double our stitches. So right now we have six, we're going to have 12 at the end of round two. So just go into that first stitch there and make two single crochets. And then you'll repeat that around a total of six times, creating 12 single crochets. Okay, so for round three, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that stitch marker and I put mine at the end of each round. Okay, so moving on, we're gonna start out round three by making one single crochet in the very first stitch there. And then in the second stitch, we're gonna make an increase. So put your two single crochets in that second stitch. And then you're just gonna simply repeat that pattern around. So one single crochet in the next stitch and then increase in the next. So at the end of round number three, you're gonna have a total of 18 single crochets made. For round four, we're gonna start out by making two single crochets and then increase. So one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the second stitch, and then increase in the third stitch. And then you'll just repeat that pattern around, two single crochets and an increase for a total of 24 single crochets. Round five is gonna be our last increase round. So this time we're going to make three single crochets. So one, two, and three. And then we'll increase in that fourth stitch. So again, you'll just repeat that around for a total of 30 single crochets. All right, so for the next seven rounds, we're just going to make one single crochet in each stitch around. So this will be rounds six through 12. You will just put one single crochet in each stitch around, and each round will consist of 30 single crochets. So go ahead and crochet each round, one single crochet in each stitch around, through round 12, and we'll meet back for round number 13. All right, this is what your little ghosty should look like so far. So for round 13, we're gonna have a decrease round. So we're gonna start it just like before, and we're gonna make three single crochets across. So one, two, and three. And then we're gonna decrease over the next two. So when I do my decreases, I go in the front loop only. So instead of going under both like normal, you'll just go through or underneath that very front loop there. Yarn over and pull your yarn through. And then you're gonna do the same thing in the next stitch. So go under that front loop there yarn over and pull your yarn through. At this point, you'll have three loops on your hook. You're just gonna yarn over and pull through all three. So we just turned two stitches into one. So you're gonna repeat that around. So one, two, three, 
two and three, and then decrease over the next two. This will give you a total of 24 single crochets at the end of round 13. All right, before we move on to the next round, we're gonna go ahead and put our eyes in. So you're just gonna have the one safety eye and we're gonna insert that between rows nine and 10. So you'll just count down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then in between that and the next round, you're gonna go ahead and insert your eye. Okay, and then go ahead and put the back on. Then you'll wanna grab your black yarn here and your yarn needle. And we're going to make an X for the second eye. So I just come up through the inside here and then you're just gonna come up, wanna come over just a little bit, maybe about uh, four stitches there. And then just sew on an X. Okay, so once you have that made, you're going to just tie off in the inside, just tie your two ends together, and that will secure that for you. And then if you want, you can grab a small length of white, and we can make kind of a highlight um, on the safety eye here. So I just come up through the middle again at the very top of the eye and then come down the side of the eye here and pull that back through. That just creates that little highlight for the eye there and then tie that off. And that is what that should look like at this point. So next we'll move on to round number 14. All right, so for round number 14, we're going to be making a shell edging here. So we're gonna start out in, by working in the front loop only of every stitch. So you're not gonna wanna go through both. You just wanna go under that front loop. So we're gonna make five half double crochets in that first front loop. So you're gonna yarn over insert your hook under that front loop, pull your yarn through, and then you'll yarn over and pull through all three. So that makes your first half double crochet, and you're just gonna repeat that until you have five half double crochets in that first stitch there. Okay, and that's what that should look like, that first shell. So we're going to skip the next stitch. We won't work in that one at all. And then we're gonna slip stitch in the second one there. So under your front loop only, you'll just make a slip stitch. Okay, so shell, skip a stitch, slip stitch. Then we're going to skip the next stitch and make our next shell in the stitch after that. So then go into that next one there and make five half double crochets. All right, so you'll just repeat that around. So after your shell, you'll skip the next stitch, slip stitch in the next, front loop only, skip the next stitch, and then make your next shell five half double crochets. All right, so this is what your ghosty should look like now, and you should have six of these shells made for the bottom. So now we're gonna go ahead and crochet around the center here to close up the very bottom of our ghost. So I'm gonna grab my stitch marker, go ahead and put it in that last uh, slip stitch you made there. And this time we're gonna work in those back loops that we left unworked from the last round. So you're gonna go into that first back loop that's left there, and you're gonna make a single crochet. 
and then you'll single crochet in the next stitch. So you'll make two single crochets and then over the next two, you're going to make your decrease. So go into that first one, pull your yarn through, go into the next one, pull your yarn through, yarn over and pull through all three. So you're going to do that around. So two single crochets and then decrease. Okay, so just repeat that around until you get to the end of this round. All right, before we move on to finish this opening here, we're going to go ahead and stuff it firmly with our fiber fill. So go ahead and make sure you have enough in there, and then we will close it up, and then we will make the brain. All right, for our last round, we're going to work around doing one single crochet in the first stitch here. And then we're going to decrease over the next two. And you'll just repeat that around. So one single crochet and then decrease. All right, so that finishes off the last round there. Go ahead and add more fiber fill if you need to. So for the very last part here, we're just going to slip stitch in that very next stitch there and then cut your yarn and then we'll use that to close the rest of the opening here. Okay, so grab your yarn needle and then to close this, I just come up one stitch and out the other. And then you'll just want to pull on that each time you do that. So up one and out the other. And then work that around until you get to the end. And that should cinch the entire thing closed. Okay, once you get to the end there, you just want to weave that through a couple times through the base here to finish that off. Alright, so once you have that done, you can just snip that off. And then that's the main part of our zombie ghost finished. So next we're going to make the brain. So you'll want to grab your pink yarn and your length of red that you went ahead and cut. All right, so to make the brain, you're simply going to grab your pink here and you're going to make a chain of 40. So make your chain of 40 and then we'll cut the uh, long tail at the end and we'll just sew this directly onto the top of our zombie ghost here. Okay, once you have your chain complete, like I said, just go ahead and cut a longer tail here because we'll use that to sew it onto the top of our zombie ghost here. All right, so grab your yarn needle. All right, and we're going to go ahead and sew this directly to the top. So I sewed the brain over on the side where the X is for the eye. So just find where you want the center of your brain to be and grab a stitch there and then come up through the first chain on uh, of your chain here. And that secures the center of it there. So you're just simply going to wind this around. And as you go, you're just gonna grab a stitch on the zombie and then come up through the next chain. And you're just gonna keep working it around in a spiral. Okay, so just keep working that around until it's completely sewn in and when you're done you're going to want to weave in those ends to complete that part of the brain and then we're going to outline it with the red yarn so you'll want to grab that next. Alright so now that you have that sewn on we're going to go ahead and take our red and just work an outline around the entire brain here. So I just come up a few stitches to the side here of the brain and then come up at the edge. Okay, and then just work some stitches around to embroider the edging for the brain here. Okay, 
Okay, so just work your way around with that and then I'll show you how to finish that off. All right, so once you're doing that last stitch, you're gonna come out through the exact same hole that you started in. So you want both of the ends to come out that same hole there. Once you have that pulled through, you're just gonna tie that off a couple times to make sure you have a good knot in it. And then you'll wanna cut those ends pretty short. All right, once you have that done, I take the end of my needle and you're just gonna stuff that knot directly into the head there. Okay, so that's the brain done. That's what it should look like. And the eyes done. So the very last thing we need to do is make a little scar on this side. So you're gonna wanna grab your black yarn. So you'll just come up a few stitches away from where you want it to start. Just come up through there and just sew the scar directly on. And I do mine at a bit of a diagonal here. And then you'll come up and make some little um, cross sections here for the actual scar. All right, once you get that last one done, you're gonna come back out through that same opening that you started in, and we'll finish it off just like we did with the red part. So tie that off a couple times. And you'll cut that and then stuff that in. All right, so that is our zombie ghost finished. These would make perfect little Halloween treats and gifts, or they'd be great for any vendor events you have coming up. If you enjoyed this pattern, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification, and that will let you know as soon as a new pattern is up on my channel. As always, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.